Hi, hello, good evening. The purpose of uploading the short video is to one is to give a short summary of the uh, approach to anti-diabetic therapy in uh, CKD patients, and another one is long-standing poor audio quality in this uh, channel. I tried to rectify with a new mic. Let's see how it works. So if we see type two diabetes and the CKD. The first line approach is always the uh, physical activity, nutrition therapy and the weight loss. And uh, once we go to the medication, the metformin, what is the GFR to stop it? When the EGFR goes less than 30, you have to stop this. And if the patient is on dialysis, anyway, we have to stop. If the EGFR is 45, be cautious with the dose. Better to reduce the dose. And the SGLT2 inhibitor is also a current first line therapy. The EGFR cutoff is less than 20, up to 20, you can continue. On the below 20, do not initiate. If the patient is already on SGLT2 inhibitor and the EGFR is going down, yes, you can continue, but do not initiate. If the patient is on dialysis, you can discontinue for the renal benefits. When coming to the additional therapy, what to select? The preferred group is GLP-1 receptor agonist is preferred. Others are DPP-4 inhibitor, insulin. Sulfonylureas, T, ZC, and alpha glucosidase inhibitor. But how to select out of these? Out of these, it have to be based on the individual patient profile and the EGFR cutoff. And in which patient to select which drug? I will put a detailed video regarding that. So overall, the preferred drug is GLP-1 receptor agonist, insulin, and DPP-4 inhibitor are a better choice. So in this. One point I want to insist is many medicine PG used to have the doubt what is the EGFR cutoff up to 20. You can give also. Thank you.